In this video, I will share my personal hoax related experiences with you. The first experience was during the Unity Tour Summer Concert Series in 2012. Other than it being a fantastic show, there was a huge clue given to believers by Michael's brothers. They sang a verse of their song, Good Times, which says, I want to see you again. Then, a photo of Michael comes onto the screen. This is a personal shot that I took while at this concert and I have to admit that I was very shocked to see it placed there. Why does it indicate that Michael is alive? This particular photo has been used throughout, since June 25, 2009. If you have seen Michael's video, Liberian Girl, you understand that Michael is playing a prank on all of the actors. They wonder where Michael is, when all the while, Michael was behind the camera the entire time, filming them. I won't go into detail, but photos from the Liberian Girl video has been used quite frequently, namely in the memorial held at the Staples Center, and at the funeral, among a number of other places. Well, I encourage you to watch the video that was produced on this topic. Now that we know a bit of the meaning of this photo, I will explain in detail my personal experience at the Unity Tour concert. Could it be another coincidence that a picture of Michael from the Liberian Girl video was placed there? I have to put my beliefs to the test. After I saw this huge clue, I immediately took a permanent marker that I had brought along just in case I could get an autograph after the show and nervously wrote the word ALIVE on whatever I could find that was large enough for the brothers to be able to see from the stage. I held it up high and proud, as I was confident that the message they were trying to convey was clear. Michael is alive and could very well be working behind the scenes on this tour. Knowing the meaning of the video and how many times the photo has been used, gives confirmation that whenever we see it, we must assume that Michael is behind it. I assumed that my sign would not get any acknowledgement or attention, which is typical at concerts. But I was wrong. We had pretty good seats, and my sign happened to catch the eye of Marlon Jackson. His reaction was very appropriate and positive. First. Marlon made eye contact with me when he noticed my sign, and I saw his eyes squinting as if he was trying to read it. Once he realized what it said, his eyes got really big, his eyebrows raised, and his mouth opened as he if was shocked and surprised. I knew I had gotten his attention. Then he gave me a look as if he was saying, How do you know? Or, Do you know something? It was a look of agreement. It was not a look of showing appreciation for a loyal fan. This may sound hard to believe, but this was my initial gut feeling. My siblings also saw his reaction, and thought that it was very strange. Throughout the song, I noticed how Marlon would go over to another brother and gesture or point toward the audience, but the way he did it seemed like it was to show the other brothers my sign. Tito and Jackie also noticed my sign after Marlon gestured towards the crowd. Marlon walked over to Jermaine and gestured toward the crowd as if to show him my sign. But Jermaine acted as if he didn't see or notice anything. But I knew he had seen it. It seemed like it was a big deal to Marlon. It seemed like I had made a personal connection with him, and for that moment, my sign was what he was focused on. He would keep glancing at me, for a while, to see if he knew me personally. I did not get the feeling from Marlon's reactions that he thought I was talking about Michael's spirit being alive. He showed on his face that he seemed to think that I really knew that Michael was alive in the flesh. If Michael is dead, why did my sign get all that attention? Remember, this happened while they were performing. This experience gave me a very odd and eerie feeling. I had a bit of confirmation, reinforcement, and verification that Michael is not dead, just based on the brother's reaction to the sign.
This is my personal experience from something that happened in 2011. While this may be surprising to some of you, it certainly did not shock me. I received a friend request from an account on YouTube representing someone very close to Michael. Do you recognize this account? I do. This is the official Latoya Jackson YouTube channel. When you visit the YouTube page, it has a link to her official website, www.latoyaonline.com. Have you ever visited Latoya's official channel? Have you ever visited her official website? Did LaToya herself send a friend request? Or could it have been someone else who manages this account? Either way, it is odd. I do not know if this account also subscribed, but people usually subscribe along with adding a friend request. The videos that I make are clear of where I stand on what I believe happened to Michael. That Michael is not dead, faked his death and is alive. It takes some effort to send a friend request to someone on YouTube. Would you do this if you did not watch the videos, and or believe in the messages the videos were conveying? Probably not. Thank you for listening.